boys a trailer yeah for a film that got everyone all juiced up called because they're all in it (laughs) (laughs) called amsterdam wait say what's it called amsterdam (laughs) there's no p there's am, 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 Amsterdam. 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 Like hamster. Amsterdam. 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 It's fine. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said Amsterdam in my life. Am- just, Amsterdam. Am- Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> we got right. that Amsterdam trail you're coming up. I'm going to uh, play Jess, the trailer. Can you, can you see the screen? She probably won't probably be able to. Probably not. Well, that's a problem. Well, I saw the preview. Jess, it's the a theaters. problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 as in no, no, for, no. The, for the game. Yeah, later, later on, I, we need the people to see the screen. But yeah, so you, oh. yeah, you all saw this trailer in, or like uh, prior to Thor, right? Yes. But that's what yeah. you, yeah. Maybe optimistic. Maybe yes. optimistic. But every, every single person is in this movie. It is, you want me to, I'll just run them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. So we have Christian Bale, we have Margot Robbie. Read them as fast as you can. Christian Bale, I'll read them to, uh, <laughs> we didn't start the fire and we can get to Yes, you. wait, wait. <laughs> Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, <laughs> Michael B, Jordan, Chris Rock. Uh, John, yeah, so Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, Michael B. Jordan, Chris Rock, John David Washington, Anna Taylor-Joy, Robert De Niro is in this. Uh, Rami Malek, Mike Myers is in it, which the, it's his, it's his the comeback. Year it's, of the year Myers. Of, it's the year of Mike Myers and anything. Kiki Palmer. Uh, Timothy Oliphant is in it. Zoe Saldana is how I think you say her name, right? Zoe Saldana, yeah. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. Don't know who that guy is. Michael Shannon is in it. Um, you see it now? No, Jess. A lot of this actually happened. No. <laughs> but... I think yeah. Christian Bale looks great as a as a man with one eye. I agree. This this, this has like great. um, it slightly has like Wes Anderson vibe about it. You think so? I Just think because it's got so many like great it's character actors, got all the character actors, and how Christian Bale is in this feels like a um, I mean from what we limitedly have, it feels like a Wes Anderson like weird quirky kind of character. Do you does this feel like it's gonna be? It has the potential to be like legacy film. To you, what do you mean? Like this feels like it's gonna like it could potentially be one of the movies. When you talk about the movie industry, this is one of the movies. Does that make sense? Maybe I don't. I, I mean, like, oh, Taylor Swift is in. I it? feel like it also depends yeah. on how it does at the box office yeah. and critically and stuff like that. So yeah, this movie has a BDE, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it does. It definitely does have some BDE for sure. But like we don't know anything about the movie, essentially. It's it's a crime comedy, crime crimedy, a comedy, a comedy, a comedy. Yeah, this looks uh, good. Though. Comes I out in July, want... right? No, no, no. See, November. November, right? No, November. Yeah, not the, the trailer. Not came this out. July, yeah, yeah, yeah. silly boy, a silly, silly boy, silly boy. I like but, how they're not announcing movies a year in advance now, though. That is nice. Yeah, I'm getting like um, Wes Anderson and Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino. So I'm getting more like a. Um, like a Scorsese kind of is, is Robert De Niro. <laughs> Robert De Niro, maybe that's probably yeah. why. It's just like the scope of it feels so big. You yeah, know? I'm getting like from the Inglorious Bastards. Like, okay, I guess that that I, I, I guess what I'm not seeing is the uh, the Wes Anderson part of it. That's okay. You don't have to, buddy. Like, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't get it. Pat, how are you doing over there? What's going on? Good. I'm. Chilling. All right. So yeah, but it's, it's literally just all we have about it is a lot of this actually happened. Yeah. And yeah. it's three friends altered the course of American history. So Forrest Gump. <sighs> uh, but first of all, of I'm loving the Christian Bale comeback. Okay. Christian Bale said he was going to take some time off a few years ago after I think it was Amer- uh, um, what's that movie? Um, Batman. You know no. which one it is. It's Goodwill Hunting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Help foreign policy for Bush. What's his uh, oh, where he was Dick Cheney. that that's yeah. one. Yeah, um, <laughs> <Foreign> policy. <laughs> uh, after that, he said he was taking a break and he wasn't going to dramatically change his body anymore for performances because and he was Gore the God Butcher. Because his doctors were like, "Hey, chill." So <laughs> chill, man. You're not young. Anymore. However, he's come back and he's finally. And I mean, like, what a way to come back! First, as Gore the God Butcher. And then in this, in one year, I mean, like, uh, one of the biggest movies of the year. And then, I mean, like, it's Christian Bale. So I'm assuming, like, I'm always, 
under the impression that no matter what Christian Bale's in, he's going to be good. You know what I mean? Yeah, that he's one of the actors where he so like plays such a versatile kind of like character role. It's like a similar. Um, all right, I need help now. Who is the uncle? No, no, no. Who's Sirius Black in? Gary, Gary Oldman. Oldman. Thank you. He's got like Gary Oldman vibe. Right, give Gar- us another one. Gary Oldman. <laughs> Gary, Gary Oldman. <laughs> a, a, another. Yeah, I want to guess another actor. Gary Oldman was um, <laughs> Commissioner Gordon in right. Dark Gary Night. Oldman. Yeah, there you go. Got That's it. the one. I'm on fire. He's also Dracula. Anyway. <laughs> Gary Oldman. <laughs> uh, but that isn't to say that the whole cast isn't spectacular because, what is it, John David Washington, Margot Robbie, you didn't Michael hear Shannon. Didn't start the fire? Anna uh, Taylor Joy. Robert Anna Taylor De Niro, Joy, Robert De Niro. Robert Malik. Yeah, I saw De Niro in this trailer. I was like, I forget De Niro still exists. Like, he's around. Well, he died in Joker, so. Yeah, like, yeah that's right. Was, I saw him get shot in the head. He was CGI in The Irishman. <laughs> oh yeah, young De Niro. Just, they, it was just a <laughs> help. I'm shiny. Um, <laughs> help. I'm, I'm shiny, shiny and young, but move I like, like yeah. an old man. Yeah. I like how every every time you need help with a movie, it's always like help. I'm <laughs> yes. <laughs> really helps him get in the camera. Well, that's the dilemma. You know, it's always some sort of strife. Yeah. You know? right. So it's help. I'm this. Help. I have screaming goats. Help. You know, like help. so. <laughs> um, it looks this. What what. You like? I was just thinking of other examples. Uh, <laughs> that Tom Hanks movie where he's like, "Help! I have AIDS." Uh, what Tom Hanks movie? This is uh, Philadelphia. What? What? Yeah, look it up. Okay, no, uh, I'm just a real movie. I'm, I'm gonna Google Hold Tom on. No, Hanks. No, 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 no. <laughs> so anyway, if uh, this movie looks like um, it's a real movie, confirmed. Tom Hanks' AIDS just came up with Philadelphia. <laughs> All right, well, Keep now going. I watch it. <laughs> anyway, this movie looks like Knives Out and a series of unfortunate events crossed over. We all have such, like, <laughs> we're like, yeah. we have two movies that we think this is. And What'd you say? I said it looks like an Inglorious Bastards and like a Wes Anderson kind of thing. Okay. What about you? Goodfellas and uh, what's the Johnny Depp movie where he plays a... Uh, the- Blow. Blow. Help, I'm Johnny Depp. Help, I'm Johnny drugs. Depp and I need to smuggle these drugs. <laughs> blow. That would be Blow. Yeah. Yeah, I think nobody got knives out immediately. Am I the only one? Nope. I feel yeah, that. Jess, what are your two movies? Go. Um, I, f- I I was kind of getting like a knives out vibe. Nope, you got to well. come up with two I on your own. And then also out. like, uh, well, kind of, we're like Django, Inglorious Pastors. I think you're gonna of. say okay. Jenga. More like you know no. Jenga. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm getting a big Yahtzee vibe from this. <laughs> <laughs> Clue. 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 Yeah. All right. Fair. <laughs> okay. But yeah, she thinks it's a Tarantino feel as well. We're in the right. <laughs> what are you cracking I mean, up it's... about? Yahtzee still. <laughs> Peter, why are you passed out on the table? Yahtzee. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, so here's something not to laugh about, though. This movie's already fucking just marinating in controversy because the director, David O. Russell... Oh. has had a noted history of being abusive and uh he has some allegations against him of sexual assault um yeah that's not that great. seem to have resurfaced in the oh boy in the okay <laughs> light <laughs> of this trailer coming out so somebody went ahead uh and went went and made a timeline of his biggest controversies and I have them here there's oh, there's God. only a handful so the first one was in 1999. Apparently, he had a physical altercation with George Clooney. George du- George George Duty. <laughs> George Clooney uh, detailed his own experience working with Russell in 1999's Three Kings in a 2000 interview with Playboy, scandalous, mm. calling it a, tr- a truly, without exception, the worst experience of his life. In the feature, the <laughs> not actor, even just acting, just his entire, his entire life. Wow. The actor revealed Russell's abusive behavior. Uh, towards both members of his crew and extras on the set led to the physical altercation between the two. Clooney recounted the following. It was a dangerous time. I was trying to make things work, so I went over him, I put my arm around him and said, David, it's a big day, um, but you can't shove, push, or humiliate people who aren't allowed to defend themselves. He turned to me and said, why don't you just worry about your fucked up act? You're being a, you're being a dick. You want me to... Uh, you want to you hit me? You want to hit me? Come on, pussy, hit me. I'm looking at him like he's out of his mind. Then he started banging me on the head oh. with his head. And he goes, hit me, pussy, hit me. Then he got me by the throat and I, and I went nuts. 
Half a decade later, it uh, it appeared anonymously between Oscar winners hadn't cooled when Clooney sang in the 2004 premiere cover story. Quite honestly, if he comes near me, I'll uh, I'll sock him right in the fucking mouth. So they're that, not cool. That's wild. Like, that's wild. Uh, it's so on then site. There's the infamous Lily Tomlin <laughs> video, which I have the video here. I'm not gonna play it on this this show. Um, Why do you have it up? Because it's quite triggering. <laughs> Uh, you can go look it up for yourself. However, this is a video that details it's two minutes long of the director is storming around set, hurling obscenities and lashing out the actress. At one point, he throws the contents of a table between him and Tomlin on the floor while screaming, OK, bitch, I am not here to be fucking yelled at. I worked on this fucking thing for three fucking years to have some fucking cunt yell at me in the oh, front God. fucking crew. <laughs> and I'm trying to fucking help you, you bitch. Like, so horribly abusive. This man sounds like he's in a cocaine problem. And he's just like, how old is this guy now? Oh, I have no idea. I'll tell you. He is, um, he was born in 80. No, never mind. Uh, he's, he's 63. 63. Oh, jinx. jinx. Oh, double jinx. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully he's a little bit more mellowed so, out now. Now, in fairness, uh, years later, Tomlin claims that she and Russell eventually worked past this outburst. And her quote is, David is a very mercurial person. And that's part, part why he is, why he's so brilliant. You guys know I can't read. That's okay. I can't read through the mic stand, and that's the problem. My vision is being split right now, and well, like got glasses. Yeah, right? I have this here. So, excuses, excuses, excuses. <laughs> Just like the way you said it. Excuses. <laughs> One year later, the viral, t- the viral t- rant came back to haunt Russell at the 2012 Gotham Awards when host Mike Birbiglia chose to recite the entire. <laughs> Expletive Holy shit! Tyrade word for word in his opening monologue. That's fucking Later awesome. Later in the that ceremony, so Russell was pre- presented with a special Gotham Tribute Award honoring his body of work. Wow. What, wait, all right, so what else has he done in his career? So he's done Spanking the Monkey, Flirting with Disaster, Three Kings. Spanking I heart, the Monkey, oh, of Hunter, course. Spanking the Monkey, I Heart Huckabee's um, Silver Linings Playbook, and American Hustle, and The Fighter. Yeah. So then we have... Uh, in 2011, his niece claims uh, yeah, sexual assault. Bad. Eric, here it comes. Here by comes. him. Yeah. In 2013, he made uh, Amy Adams cry on. Uh, he made Amy Adams cry on the set of The Fighter. Uh, that eventually co-star Christian Bale stepped in to defend her. As a Quote, fighter, <laughs> the leaked transcript says his abuse and his lunatic behavior are extreme, even by Hollywood standards. Who said that? Uh, the so the the CEO of Sony at the time, Michael Litton. The Zeitgeist said it. Amy Adams it. herself confirmed that Russell's toxic toxic workplace behind him, eh, behavior, admitting he made her cry nearly every day while working in the Oscar nominated crime genre. Dude. He did. He was hard on me. That's for sure. It was a lot. I was just really. De- I was just devastated on set. David O. Russell. This guy just like looks like he wants to. So he yeah, lo- he looks like you want to so hit him. He's kind of been a fucking cocksucker, George Clooney. But I'm on George Clooney. I stuff. think he, yeah. <laughs> I think he makes some good movies. So, uh, so it makes it all okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's the classic. Like, yeah, God, no, <laughs> the, the 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 worst person you know makes a makes good a point. really like, good yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> um, but either way, though, so that came up. So I'm curious to know how Christian that's Bale s- still chose to work with him again. Yeah, I'm curious to know how that's going to snowball into. Uh, into the premiere of this, because there's no way that any journalist worth their salt is not going to bring that up. Mike Birbiglia might again. <laughs> Mike Birbiglia, very that's, well. That's the best part of the whole story, is yeah. that Mike Birbiglia <laughs> has some fucking balls. Yeah. That's fucking wild to just be like... And then, because he's we getting it... Can we, can we pull up video of Mike Birbiglia just no, reciting it? No, we're not going to. We're... <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mike Birbiglia is a goofy guy. He's a real goofball. He's and I a goofball. I want to hear him say mean things. Oh, we'll, I, have, we'll um, I have an article open up about it that was uh, going through like the same timeline. And then at the end of the article, it says word for word this. So, with all of that in mind... Do you want to see Amsterdam? <laughs> on the one hand, he's a real life villain. On the other hand, Mike Myers and Michael Shannon are sharing the screen for the first time. It's a real toss up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard <laughs> That's decision. That's really Honestly, what it says. I mean, I'm like, right there with him. Not That's a bad, the most relatable thing I've read all week. <laughs> Did he allegedly point. assault his own niece? 
Allegedly. Mike Myers and Michael <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just hear those two people talk to each other. Yeah. Like, God damn. <coughs> I think it's going to be good. Real Sophie's choice. You know? <laughs> 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 <That's a weird laughs> <plan. laughs> <laughs> you choose. Let us know what you did in the comments, and we'll publicly shame you for it. There's, there's too many people that are editors online. Yeah, now. we'll see. We'll see how much money it makes. What turns out, you know, be interesting. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see.